The perception of Alzheimer's disease and other dementias varies greatly from culture to culture, highlighting a need to engage with different ethnic and social groups about the long-term effects. Brain Research New Zealand, Rangahau Rora Awatea Roa, a centre of research excellence, brings together neuroscientists, clinicians and communities to develop multidisciplinary, multicultural approaches to dementia prevention and treatment. Carly Hemapo sent us this report from Auckland. Aotearoa New Zealand is home to a relatively small population of nearly 4.5 million people, a melting pot of cultural diversity. Understanding the fundamentals of different cultures helps identify how different people see dementia. The current tools that we use to diagnose dementia in New Zealand um, have been developed um, usually in the UK or the USA and they have been developed within a Western worldview. We've done some research interviewing Comart around the country and we've some of the data that's coming out is going to inform the tests, the, the tools that we're looking to develop. Evidence shows New Zealand's most vulnerable communities are high risk. Maori and Pacific seem to present at the memory service younger and we don't know why that is. We are um, looking to develop a, an app. It's like a riskometer in a way that we want people will be able to assess what their risk of dementia is. If people do have relatives with dementia they would be able to use it to find out where the services are in the local area and where the culturally appropriate services are mm. in the local area. Mm. Research among Māori, the indigenous people of New Zealand, needs to consider the important place of their culture and perspectives in the country. As Māori, we have had bad experiences of research, where in the past researchers come into our communities, they take information from us and we never see them or hear from them again. That way of practising research is completely unacceptable. Hence the partnership with Te Kura Kaupapa Māori or Huani Waititi to involve the Māori community in the research process. Those partnerships um, serve a number of functions. They make us accountable and make sure that we are kanohi ki te kanohi, face to face with Māori communities. And so we are making, trying to make ourselves accessible. We're trying to make sure that people can ask us questions, can tell us the kind of research that they think should be occurring. An estimated 62,000 people are currently living with dementia, a number that is expected to increase threefold by 2050. Brain Research New Zealand is working hard to build awareness and engage individuals experiencing mild cognitive impairment. We're doing that by looking at a full range of uh, disciplines, I suppose you'd call it, clinical, neuropsychological, neuroimaging, blood-based biomarkers and psychosocial. Engaging individuals experiencing mild cognitive impairment is key to the success of their nationwide dementia prevention research clinics. We're joining the international endeavour of trying, of wanting to identify a biomarker signature that predicts or identifies who of those people will be the ones that go on to develop dementia. Graham has been living with mild cognitive impairment for three years. He visits the clinic annually to undergo a variety of tests. How does mild cognitive impairment affect your life? Uh, it means that I've got to be much more organised in what I'm doing. Um, I need lots of lists, people's names, places I'm going, those sorts of things. Scientists believe brain tissue is also an invaluable resource for understanding Alzheimer's after making huge breakthroughs with Huntington's disease by using sheep brain models. In that work they've discovered changes in metabolic processes which don't normally work in the, in the human brain but they're actually activated in the disease process. Now these researchers are also now developing a model for Alzheimer's in the sheep. From animal models to biomarkers and engaging with communities, Brain Research New Zealand's research is helping inform studies, interventions and develop appropriate assessment tools. What we will achieve is providing this community, clinician and researcher interaction that enables people to feel like they're part of a really important endeavour.